Hi, in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to edit a news post. I have a news post here, Undoing Racism Training. It's something that I just created, and I want to make some changes. I want to do some edits to it. So what I'm going to do is edit this post, but I have to open up this page. Remember, as we create a news post, it creates a new page on our site. So we're going to click here on the headline to get us to the page with this post. And when we're in here, we come over to the upper right corner and we see the big blue edit button. We're going to click there to open this up for editing. Now that I have this, I can come in here and click in this text box and I have my text editor and I can change anything in there I want to do. We're going to change this. We're going to say instead of there being four two-day sessions, we're going to change it to three two-day sessions. And I think that's really all the changes that we want to make. But we want to go ahead and take a look at a couple other things. Now, like I said, I, it's obvious I can change any of the text in this text box. I can also go ahead and if I click here on the ellipses, it opens up my text and table formatting option. And I can change some of the formatting. I can edit that. I can change the font size. I can add font effects. I can change the font color, highlight sections, change the alignment, all kinds of things here. Maybe we want to have the text justified. I can do that. All of those different things. Now, let's close that. I can also go ahead. You see over here next to my text box. I have this, which says move the web part, which will allow me to move this to another place on the page. I'm fine with where it is. I can delete this web part. I'm fine. I don't want to delete it. But when we come over here to the left of that in this gray box, I've got a couple more options in here. This is for the section. I can edit this section. And if I click there, this panel opens up and I have more options here. Like I can make that two columns. I can have another place here to add another web part. It could be another text web part, or it could be an image, whatever I need. Now, I can also make it three. I can do something like this. Yeah, we're not really going to see the effects of that unless we put something in here. But I have a larger left column and a smaller right column, and vice versa if I go here. But we're going to stick with one column. We're really not going to change any of that. I can even change the background of that section to something like this. But again, I'm fine with just the plain white background. So once we're done with all of our changes, we come up here to the top and we see that we can discard the changes. If we've decided, you know what, I don't want any of those changes, I can click there and it's going to go back to the last published version. But I like the changes I made. I really only made one. And you'll see that automatically my page has been saved. So I'm going to come over here to the right again where the edit button was and click on publish. And when it's done, we see now that the only change that I made was to change this from four to three. But now those changes have been made. So now you know how to edit a news post. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you next time.